this last year, one of the things that we did was I, I started going through our sales process and I documented every different piece of software that we use from the time that we receive our, uh, our lead to the time that we contract an invoice. And we found we use 12 pieces of technology for this entire customer journey. It was creating massive burden on my staff and on my roster. It became very complicated and complex. I could navigate it because I designed it, but it was not simple and easy to use. So we began interviewing these companies and we had these 12 softwares that we were using written out with what we were using them for. And my goal in interviewing software companies was how many of these software solutions can I remove with one sales software program? And we, as we wrote out these 12, we interviewed with uh, Farith and his team. What we found was their, their uh, software literally checked 12 out of 12 boxes, which was, was mind blowing for me that a solution like that was out there because we had had to navigate back and forth with apps and double and quadruple data entry and things that weren't talking to each other. It was a real nightmare. So we, we came down this, this journey and when we looked at it, we had some real goals in place and, and we began to ask Leap, how, how far can we push your software? What is it capable of doing? We started asking some questions and some of the responses was, you know, we don't believe anybody's ever done that before, but we do believe the software can do it. And I'm gonna give you guys um, an idea of what we've been able to create with Leap. Uh, and guys, if Leap was not, if this was not a Leap webinar, I would say this exactly the same way. So I don't want you to think that um, I'm selling Leap because they're here. I'm selling Leap because they're they're my solution. And I've interviewed and tried so many different platforms, and this solved so many issues. So my first challenge that I wanted to overcome was when I bring in a sales rep, and, and remember, I'm bringing in people that don't have industry experience, right? We're training from the ground up. So I'm bringing in somebody, I'm having to teach them about construction, all of the different trades in construction, residential, commercial. Uh, the way we sold was we built budgets, we would do material list, labor list, build a budget, put a margin on it, and then create our proposal. And through this, what we found was the amount of layers of everything these guys had to learn from the beginning to the end, from construction to doing takeoffs, to building budgets, to all the different software that they need to do. What we found is there's so many inaccuracies. One guy would estimate with this waste factor here, one guy would estimate uh, with this margin over here. It was very inconsistent. I could send out 20 different reps, you'd get 20 different prices. They were close, but they were not, they were not the same. And we wanted to be simple and scalable. So, what I know is most companies estimate in one of a few different ways. One was the way that we did, which I preferred because we felt like we could dial in our price to be as aggressive as possible and control our margin and it be predictable. So we would build the material estimate, the labor estimate, the budget, and then the margin. Very predictable if you're good at a takeoff, but how many people are truly good at doing takeoffs? The second side is many companies do these all-inclusive line items, remove and replace roof. You know, it could be 15 or 20 different SKUs, three or four different labor line items with your subcontractor, and it's one line item. And that margin is probably five to 10% different, depending on complexity, waste factors, all these different things. So what I wanted to attempt to resolve is, can I, with the click of a button, take the data out of something like a hover measurement, and get it to auto-populate my material, auto-populate my, my labor, create my cost, and automatically add a margin to it. So over the last four months, guys, what we've been able to create inside of Leap is we do a hover, it automatically imports into my Leap. When I get in there, I go to my customer, I hit download. I hit download the click of a button. We now have five roofing systems, good, better, best, plus two more variations. 
five different roofs, including my insurance estimate, my light kind and quality, my platinum roofing systems. All of them are based on cost, my cost to produce. I have a predictive margin built in. And now my, my sales rep who doesn't know how to do a takeoff has five different estimates to show their customer that are all truly dialed into one or 2% margin. It's extremely accurate. And we've done these case studies where the average estimate building it based off of cost is anywhere in the 30 to 45 minute range. So if, a, if somebody wants to do five variations, you know, you have, you, we all have that customer, right? They want five different ways, three different colors. They want to see it a hundred different ways. I click a button. I've got five different variations. I know the margin. I know my cost to produce. I know my profit. And then if we want to add a discount, we can provide a discount. This has been a dream of mine for over five years. I've gone down this road with three different companies, three separate companies that I've worked with have not been able to pull it off. Leap was the first one that we've worked with that has been able to do this. Guys, this is a game changer. So if you do the math, if you have 10 reps that are doing two estimates a day and we can save two hours per appointment with not building out all these different variations. They work five days a week. And let's say that they only work 45 weeks out of the year. With my roster of 10, I've saved 9,000 hours of estimating that we know the margin on. It's not a guess. And this was an absolute game changer. Now I need, I need less reps to sell more than my competition. My guys can run more appointments and spend less time at every important uh, every appointment. My training, my onboarding, everything that I need, my requirements when I go to recruit, they're not nearly as extensive because I don't have to have guys that can build budgets. What they need to do is they need to understand our product, understand the business, and can they use an iPad? We can teach them the rest as they go. Our training went from anywhere from four, six, eight weeks before we could feel like they could go into the field. We've whittled it down to one to two weeks. Our guys can go in the field and they can operate on their own if, they, if, they're comp if they've been comprehensive through the training process. Our ROI has instantly been there. Now, we have pushed the limitations um, compared to many. You know, Leap didn't have SOPs built out on how we did what we did, but they worked with us hand in hand and they figured it out with us. Even though they hadn't gone down this road, they figured it out with us. They partnered with us and we have a product now that I believe is, is unparalleled to our competition. It is absolutely a competitive edge on top of everything else that they solved without this neat download, good, better, best. They brought our financing, our credit cards, our e-checks, our invoicing, our digital signatures, our emailing of the invoice. It, and on top of that, I don't have to enter the data more than once. I enter it into our CRM. It pulls the data in the leap. Once we create our estimates, sign our contracts, we result it, it pushes that data back to Job Nimbus. These, this greatly reduces our mistakes, error, and I get much more production out of my team. And not only that, they're much happier, right? So I feel like our sales guy in every, in every company, the salesman becomes uh, a major component, the lifeblood of the business. The greatest um, complaint that I've heard is death by paperwork. Sales guys hate it, right? My goal is how can I keep my sales guys in the field doing what drives the most revenue and not burdening them with things that they hate doing anyways. So this whole transition, you know, it, it is an absolute investment. You have to be committed and you need to have one person that will own the Leap platform and learning it and mastering it and deploying it to your team. But in a three month uh, investment, which, uh, you know, it, it was a few hours a week that we met with them and then, you know, maybe five to 10 hours of our work throughout the week, uh, we've, we've now rolled it out. Our, our company's becoming very comfortable with it and it's becoming the backbone of our entire sales process. At the end of the day, guys, we're all sales organizations, right? 
if we don't dial in this process, what are we leaving on the table? Where's the waste? Where we started, we wanted to make sure we were as efficient and accurate as possible. And this resolved so many layers of these challenges.